Thank you so much, Keith. Um, I um, come from a United Methodist background. Um, I grew up in Holland and Little River Academy and was active in the Methodist Church there. And I even um, started playing in church uh, in middle school when I would play the piano and the flute some. And then I went, even went to the Baptist Church with my aunt. Some um, It's sometimes strange in towns where... Um, you, uh, there's kind of the in church in town and all my classmates went there, but, uh, anyway, I would go there at night and, uh, usually with my parents. To <laughs> and so then, um, as I went to college and started taking music history, I learned about the ordinary and the proper of the mass about the Credo and the Sanctus and the Kyrie and the Agnus Dei. And then in 1983, uh, one Friday, your former organist, Lisa Nickel, who was just wonderful to work with, called me and said, I need a flutist to play on In Remembrance from Celebration of Life. And it was especially for Father Joe DePaula as he was going to um, be traveling to England. So Lisa so generously brought the music out to Academy, and I learned it in 48 hours and had a wonderful experience uh, making music with the choir and sharing worship uh, with the congregation. And following that, I uh, played in Christmas Eve, and um, there were actually, after that, many Christmas Eves that I enjoyed celebrating Christmas with everybody from 1987 till about 96. And so... Um, after all these experiences, the college experience of music history and the worship experience and the uh, performance experience here, I began gradually feeling like I might really want to know more about this place. So I uh, took the inquiries classes. A friend suggested I did that, and I just loved it. But uh, it took a long time for the reality to come, and um, my father kept telling me, you are a closet Episcopalian. You're going to end up there one day. Well, I finally did one year ago on September the 19th. Um, Bishop Ryan came and I got to experience the laying of hands and that just sent a chill up my back. It's just, uh, it was such a wonderful, inspirational experience. And those of you that will be taking Confirmation 101, it is so fascinating. Even though I've taken it a couple of times or so, I always learn something new each time. Um, I love the symbolisms in the church, and um, that is the Chris Christian symbols. Uh, they are so meaningful and um, just are very, very, very special. And I think you'll find that as you study the history of the church and what its doctrine is, it's going to be very rewarding for you. I really feel that the Episcopal Church is a wonderful educational institution as well. During the pandemic, I enjoyed the morning prayer from here at noon. And also, I even um, started listening to it straight from the Washington National Cathedral. Uh, thanks to Patty for uh, sharing some of those links in the uh, Facebook group. And that got to be a routine thing at breakfast. I would listen to morning prayer. And it was so fascinating to learn about the saints and their contributions to the church and to society. Um, many of us have uh, gifts that we can share with the congregation. Um, of course, I can't help but be a little prejudiced. I, with the love of music, I uh, enjoy sharing that with everyone. And there are so many different ministries in this church that Christ Church offers, such as the community garden, the Daughters of the King, the children's ministry, the youth ministry, so much. And everyone needs to find your own talent and your own niche of where you fit in. And since this is stewardship uh, season, um, I feel that uh, everyone should donate uh, what they possibly can that is feasible. The church is God's home, and it takes repairs to maintain God's home. Uh, just like in our own home, uh, we have water and electricity and gas to keep us warm in the winter and, and uh, air to keep us uh, cool in the summer. So it's important that we keep these amenities up in God's house just like we do in our own house and um, one of the uh, most wonderful things about this congregation is your sense of love and a sense of family. And you make everyone always feel welcome and accepted. It's just that in the uh, 1 Corinthians 13, it says, Love is patient and kind, not boastful or rude. The patient and kind reflects 
what Christ Church is all about and Christ Church, again, is a, certainly a reflection of what I've always felt Temple is all about. So please think about what your um, talents and gifts are and what you can contribute to maintain this beautiful, beautiful facility. And the people in it are just as beautiful as the facility itself. Thank you again for letting me share and I'll offer you um, my experience uh, with this church. It's a very special place to be. Let us walk in love.